it's almost like almost like a, a Twilight Zone episode of a bibliophile. And he wakes up and he's in the middle of this place. And for the first two or three days, it's like he's gone to heaven because there's just books all over and he's able to go through them and look at them and, you know, evaluate them and, oh, this is a good book, but then a couple minutes later, here's another copy of it that's even better and, you know. And then after two or three days, he's in hell because there's so many books here. You know, there's gotta be, there's gotta be seven million books in this warehouse and it would take years to go through and look at each one. There was an outfit called Thrift Books, and they had warehouses actually in Red Lion and in York, on Elm Street, New York. For the last month or so, we've been working in both warehouses, starting in, in Elm Street, New York. We had to get that, uh, we had to clear that out. And since then, activity has shifted here to Red Lion. This is a much bigger place. Um, if you've looked around, you've seen that there's probably seven million books in here. You know, just walking around in here, I do it myself, just walking around in here, I stop and I start looking and I tell myself, no, I can't do that. You gotta keep going at what you're doing. There are seven million books here and um, that's a lot of books. That's really a lot of books. And when you start looking at them, it's just, it's overwhelming. I mean, these are, these are some of the books that we just picked up, you know, the other day. And, you know, there's leather bound. Here's, here's a leather bound book. Um, there's, uh, in one small section we cleaned out, we came up with like 200 of them that were uh, signed books you know we weren't expecting that so we've got we've got signed and antiquarian books the best one i have found i my personally found was um one a poetry book first edition by langston hughes who is a, a big poet in harlem renaissance and it was signed and i had no idea that's like a 175 seventy-five dollar book and um that stuff is just all over the place in here so Anyway, so we're in this uh, warehouse, and it had been an active warehouse for this thrift books uh, company. And what they would do, they were um, online booksellers. And they would sell books on Amazon and Biblio and Alibris and all the online companies, eBay, I guess. And when you'd be searching for a book, it would have come up as 99 cents. Um, they sold almost all their books for 99 cents. And uh, they, their listings would say, might be an extra library book, may have markings. It wasn't a lot of information, but just the book and the edition it was. So sometimes it might have a dust jacket. Sometimes if it was a paperback, you'd have all kinds of wrinkles in the spines and stuff, but not always. They just didn't spend a lot of time describing the book, but they're all 99 cents. And this company made their money of shipping. They would charge 99 cents for the book and 3.99 to ship it. So you'd wind up, you know, paying five bucks or so for, for a book. Um, it, it was kind of hit and a mess. Well, they went out of business a little over a year ago. And when they did, they just abandoned these warehouses. And then um, another company at auction bought the entire inventory, not the buildings, just the inventory of the books. And so now what we're doing is we're sifting through them and we're sorting down. And we're going to have a big sale at the Valencia Ballroom. We all know is just a wonderful space. And it has a history all by itself. The Valencia has been closed for about a year or so for renovations and such. And we're going to be the first event in the new Valencia. It's the, the sale is going to be December 1, 2, 3, 4, and all hardcovers are going to be two bucks. All paperbacks are going to be a buck. There were canisters that you'd find them 
in, in, in like parking lots for supermarkets or at recycling centers. People would come in there from all over the uh, Northeast and they would, when they were just getting rid of their books, cleaning out their books, they'd put them in there. And then those canisters were owned by thrift books and they would bring thrift books here. So there's a lot of stuff that came in, frankly, that was garbage. A lot of old books that were kind of falling apart, no covers on them, and paperbacks that were really kind of beat up and that sort of thing. And we're sifting through all that stuff now.